Right, good afternoon everyone. I just want to do a really quick fitness video with you because uh, Sergeant Brist is still on leave. He'll take over because he knows what he's doing. Um, but just a few simple exercises for you I'm going to show you now and then there'll be a second part to the video um, where I'm going to do a little workout and it's just to get you ready for the fitness test uh, when normal services resume and we're back on the squadron. Okay, so just a few variants on burpees and a sit up I'm going to show you now. Okay, the first burpee is something we call a down up uh, in CrossFit and all you do is drop yourself to the floor and then bring yourself back up so your hips are facing the wall simple as that it's called a down up you can make it easier on yourself if you want by putting your hands down stepping your feet back and lowering yourself that's perfectly fine but most of us just kind of hurl ourselves at the floor catch yourself lock your core lower yourself down bring your legs up and that's a down up Okay, simple as that. Now, a burpee, a military burpee is a bit different. A military burpee, you stay in that plank position. So you get yourself down, and then you lock your core, and then you come back up from there. That's what in the military, the PTIs uh, used to call a burpee. Um, in CrossFit, it's slightly different. We get our chest all the way to the floor. So we take ourselves all the way down, so the chest is on the floor. Then we bring ourselves up. When you're at the top, your feet must leave the floor, and you clap your hands at the top. That's a standard CrossFit burpee, okay? So all the way down, up, with a little jump. That's one burpee, okay? So I'm gonna use simple burpees, you don't need any weights or anything like that. The other movement I wanna show you is how we do a sit-up. Now this is a different way of doing the sit-up than you'll do in your fitness test. This way is harder, so if you can do this, your fitness test will be easy. So in CrossFit when we do it, we put our feet together, kind of like a frog, at the bottom and put your knees out to the side. When we're down on the floor, we have our shoulders on the floor, on the grass, and you touch your hands behind you onto the floor. This forces your shoulders down. And then you come up and you bring your hands all the way to your toes. Your elbows should be through your knees and you're touching your toes. You don't need anyone holding your feet down because that way it stops you bucking and pivoting around your hip flexors. If you've got to bring yourself up under your own steam, then you've got to touch your own toes, you're using more of your core, okay? So our sit-ups like this. All under control at a nice pace, okay? So simple burpees, simple sit-up. And I'm just gonna combine those into a wad. Um, it's a pretty standard CrossFit wad we do called 21-15-9. So I'll do 21 burpees followed by 21 sit-ups. 15 burpees followed by 15 sit-ups, nine and nine for a time. So I'll put it on time-lapse and I'll add that video below and that'll give you a kind of marker to go for because if a out of shape 39 year old can do it in a set time, you should be aiming for something better, okay?